we're going to be learning how to include a Google PowerPoint slide in your Blackboard space so that students are able to access this information outside of class. The first thing we need to do is create a space available for our Google Slides. So I'm going to go to a sandbox and create a new document. Once inside of a document, I can add HTML. Make sure that you put an appropriate title and have uh, students be able to view this content. If they can't view the content, then they will not be able to see the iframe. We will add the iframe code via copy pasting, and this code is available for anyone to copy and paste it. Just uh, send me a request. Now, an iframe is a type of HTML code that creates a window that students can reach through and interact with another website. This does not work for all websites, but it does work for Google Slides. We are going to insert our Google Slides right here where it says website. The next thing we need to do is go to the slides that we wish to share with our students. Once we have access to the slides, we will click the share button in the top right hand corner. Once here, you want to make sure that anyone with the link can be a viewer. If students do not have view access, they will not be able to see the slides and will receive an error message. We do not want them to have editor access, just viewer access. Once we have set access, we can copy the link and go back to our iframe and paste it where it says website. We're not quite done yet though, because this is the edit link and we do not want them to have the edit link. So we're gonna replace this part of the website with preview. When we click off, we can see if it functioned correctly and we can press save. This is a great way for students to access materials outside of class and they can even interact with any um, embedded links. They will not be able to answer Pear Deck questions, but they can interact with links such as these guided notes, which will open a copy of the guided notes, or even these study materials such as the textbook or uh, interactive games. When a student views these pages, it is live, meaning that if you make a small change, um, for instance, maybe I want to change the title or make it bold. Okay. Once this updates, when we go back to the document, it should update as well, meaning any changes that you make on the back end will be reflected to the students. This is a really convenient way for you to maintain uh, accurate information throughout the semester and students are guaranteed to have the most recent updated information. Thank you for joining me today. And if you have any further questions about how to embed a Google Slides into your Blackboard space, please feel free to reach out.